animal rights groups are condemning the decision as shameful. Iceland's government is set to resume hunting fin whales after a two-month pause, but with new guidelines in place aimed at killing the animals as quickly as possible to reduce suffering. A global moratorium on commercial whaling has been in place since 1986, but the controversial practice continues in Iceland, Norway and Japan. A warning that viewers may find some of the images distressing in this report by Vedika Behal. When Iceland's government suspended its whale hunting season in June due to animal welfare concerns, it was thought to be a possible first step in ending the country's controversial practice. But its government announced Thursday that whaling would be returning to Iceland, though with stricter requirements, supervision and hunting methods. The fishing and whaling season starts tomorrow with detailed conditions which will be published in a regulation later today. We have a report on economic impact, on environmental impact, a report on the animal welfare aspect that has now reached a level of importance in the political discussion in Iceland that we have not seen before. The ministry claims its new regulation is in line with veterinary and animal welfare authorities to reduce cruelty in whale hunting. And the announcement brings the practice back just in time for the end of its 2023 season, which runs from mid-June to mid-September. Finn whales hunted in Iceland are the world's second largest mammal, and current quotas allow the killing of 209 fin whales and 217 minka whales every year. Despite the International Whaling Commission globally banning whale hunting for profit in 1986, Iceland, Norway and Japan are the only countries worldwide that continue the practice, facing fierce criticism from animal rights groups and environmentalists.